Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 7 talking about how to test AI based systems and today we'll be continuing with our next segment which is 7.6 testing for concept drift. Well, to talk about this particular concept first, of course, we need to understand what is concept drift. A concept drift is basically a simple one line definition about the change in the requirement of technologies. Of course, over a period of time, as the product evolves, the people evolve faster than that. In fact, the technology evolves much faster than that. So it might be possible that what are you building today might be outdated just after two years of the creation. And when it comes to AI-based systems, I think these are much more frequently changing over every single day. And that's where it might be very, very outdated system which you release at the completion. So it's very important to understand how exactly I can measure and evaluate the concept drift in AI-based system, and that's what we are covering today. The operational environment can change over time without the trained model changing correspondingly. This phenomenon is what you call it as concept drift and typically causes the output of the model to become increasingly less accurate and less useful. For example, the impact of marketing campaigns may result in a change in the behavior of potential customers over a period of time. Now, such changes could be seasonal or abrupt changes due to cultural, moral or societal changes which are external to the system. An example of such an abrupt change is that the impact of COVID-19 pandemic and its effect on the accuracy of the model used for sales projections and stock markets. Of course, you might be using a system which is relevant to tell you the right sales, uh, sales projection and stock markets, but just because COVID-19 was a surprisingly pandemic entering into these, you know, all the situational things, the AI-based tools would have never recognized that this is what something would, would have happened and they don't have any particular predictions, right? So certainly things would be differently displaying the accuracy and outputs of the expectations which are not correct. So how exactly can you take over? Because we do understand Things like pandemic and epidemic are not something which we can train to an AI based system because they are incapable of reading such things. But there would be some solution, right? Because you're talking about replicating human brain and you need to have that capability to determine this. So systems that may be prone to concept drift should be regularly tested against their agreed ML functional performance criteria to ensure that any circumstances, which is all the occurrences of concept drift are detected soon enough for the problem to be mitigated. Typical mitigation may include retiring the system or retraining the system. That's the only two things what you can really do because particularly over a period of time, you can retrain the system to build better accuracies and precision for the outcome. But after a particular duration, maybe like few years, you may not keep retraining or probably the base fundamental itself would have changed. The people of using such products would have changed. So in that case, you don't retrain or continue retraining your system. Rather look forward to retire the tool and build something right from the scratch, which are as per the latest trends. Now, in this case of retraining, this would be performed with up to date training data and followed by confirmation, confirmation testing, regression testing, and possibly a form of a by B testing, which basically means alpha and beta testing, where the updated B system must outperform the original A system. And more here, the alpha beta is being referred to not as user acceptance, here being said as like a system A, what you created initially, which you are trying to retire, and the one which you have built today, which is B, we just basically have a comparison between them, and B should always perform better than the previous system, which is A. So put together, we are supposed to talk about the concept drift and we have just covered in this short tutorial about the same. So testing this will certainly include retraining or retiring and building a new one. And at the same time, you will have confirmation, regression and A and B testing of the system too. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well.
till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning